just the pain it hurts so bad but well, it's crazy like you've been having these headaches for a while now. I know. We are outside of the house! Yes! Jared's out, you guys! He came out! Don't worry, I got my crutches in the back there. But... It may have taken him a little bit to get to this point. And it took me a little bit to get to the car and inside the car. It did. I said, hey buddy, why don't you get a head start? She really did. And I'll come out in just a little bit. She really did, and then she passed me. <laughs> yeah, it took me a while to get... I pulled the car up for him. Little Finn's here too. You want to say hi to everyone? Hey, <laughs> <laughs> you guys, we are starting the vlog later tonight. Yeah. As you can tell, the sun's just setting. We both had a really busy day with work, so. Today was so busy. So because I am working remote for our event that's upcoming, it was a very busy day. I had a phone call today with like two dozen people on the phone. It was nuts, but everything's set up, ready to go. And honestly, I cannot be more excited for it. Yeah, it's gonna be awesome. My day was good. I've been interviewing a ton of people. So a lot of my day was spent on the phone. Honestly, my voice, if it's a little raspy, <laughs> that's probably why, because I've been on the phone a ton. We are venturing out to go and get some food. Yeah, we are starving. I'm not really in the mood to cook. Yeah, I made those I. cinnamon rolls like way late last night, which we've been Gosh. snacking on all day. If oh. you guys have not seen that vlog, yesterday's vlog, definitely go check Check it out. The most delicious cinnamon rolls in the world. Oh, that's sweet of you. But they were. No, they are. Perfect. I'm sure like you could Google it. <laughs> My face <laughs> pops up when you Google best cinnamon roll in the world. <laughs> but you guys, I did post the entire recipe over on our last video. It's pinned in the comments up top. So if you were looking for that recipe, I got a ton of messages over on Instagram asking I, for the recipe. And I apologize about that because I was going to put it in the description and I completely spaced it. And he dropped the ball. I did drop the ball, but I did put it in there as well. So it's in two spots. Oh, it's in two spots. Yeah. So that's awesome, you guys. And a lot of you were like, is there a place where all your recipes are? You guys, I'm thinking I may be starting a little bit of a blog where I post all my recipes. Let me know if you'd enjoy something like that where I can just share everything that we share on our yeah. blogs and yeah. if you guys would enjoy that. Yeah. It may and take me a little bit to get to that point, but <laughs> I think that could be kind of fun. And we want you guys to keep the ideas coming for our 50K giveaway. We have had so many good comments. A lot of fun ideas that yeah. I didn't even think about. Yeah. There's been a ton of like, we should do like a special Zoom meeting with like yeah. 10 of our subscribers. Yeah or like a special meetup. There's been tons of giveaway ideas, like things like physical things, like Florida gift baskets. Yeah, and quite a few of those. I was actually surprised how many people commented to get a Florida yeah, gift basket. Yeah, a lot of you guys want yeah. a lot of stuff from Florida. Yeah. And if it, we do that, it is gonna be the <laughs> ultimate Florida gift basket. It is, for sure. That is probably gonna be coming up here hopefully soon, you guys. The craziest thing with this is I was literally thinking about it. 50,000, like when I, when you really think about that, that is just incredible. And that's more than like fits inside of any sports arena. But what I love is each part. one of those numbers is you guys are not just a number. You are a person who yeah. is choosing to spend your day with us. Like that just, it warms our hearts. And when oh, you really think about yeah. it, like I honestly, you kind of get overwhelmed with gratitude. So seriously, and especially with everything that's been going on with me and Heck, I've been sick so many times this mm -hmm. year. Yeah. But <laughs> there's, there's been a lot going on. We've all been through a lot. But there's been so many times that you guys have commented something that has like benefited us. Oh, and yeah. we could not be more grateful for everything that you guys have done for us. Yeah, that's the cool thing about YouTube. I just love it. It's our little community. It's our family. Yeah, it honestly feels like a family. Yeah, it does. So speaking of family, guys, what do you guys want to eat tonight? Because we're trying to decide ourselves. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, We've we gone need, back and forth. We, we always keep going to like our safe places like yeah. Chipotle, Chick-fil-A for me. <laughs> you know what's so funny, real quick about that, is that ever since we moved out here, we have noticed how many amazing places there are to eat. Oh. But we keep going back to Chipotle, Arby's, mm. McDonald's. <laughs> it's usually, it's in a time like this where we're hungry, yep. we want something quick, we can't go in and eat because of this guy, so we just need to pick it up to go. Yep. 
So we'll see. We did find a new little Thai place here that serves sushi, so we're thinking maybe sushi. But usually yeah. sushi's good like when you can go in and sit down. Yeah, you sit down next to the bar and just enjoy it. Yeah. Anyways, anyone else out there struggle with deciding where to eat because it's definitely a thing for us. But you guys, we will figure it out and we'll show you where we're going <laughs> when, when we, we get do. there. <laughs> See you a little bit. Alright guys, we ended up branching out and coming to Chipotle, so <laughs> it didn't really go too far, but honestly we absolutely love it here and Brittany went in, as you guys can see, and Finn is just crazy looking for her, but Britt went in just because my ankle is just way faster if she goes in, and it's so funny because every single time that Brittany goes anywhere and Finn's with us, Finn goes crazy looking for her, and sometimes he gets up on his hind legs, kind of like a prairie dog or something like that. Anyway, it's the cutest thing in the world. I'm hoping that he'll do it. Finley, come here. Where's mommy? Where's mommy? <laughs> he did it for a second there. He did it for a second. Oh, he's so cute, you guys. We were honestly talking just the other day how much happiness Finn brings us. He is seriously the cutest, just most cuddliest dog in the world. Guys, it is getting windy. I don't know if you can hear that right now, but it is really getting windy. There's like a storm coming in. There's mommy. Oh yes. There's mommy. There's mommy. Okay. <laughs> you want to hand me that stuff through here? One for you. Thank you. Good boy. <laughs> Good boy. Mommy's got the goods. Uh, it's heavy. I made it just in time. The line went back out through the door. Yeah, seriously. Right after I got there. <laughs> I probably would have been there another 20 minutes. You gotta love it when that happens, something like that. that's always kind of the best. <laughs> usually it's not our luck, usually we're at the back of the line. <laughs> yeah. Now that we got the goods, we are heading home to eat. So you informed them we landed at Chipotle. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Didn't really branch out on that one. Well, but you know what I love? How much he misses me when I'm gone. Or is I he just, doing the little I, prairie dog thing? Yeah, I got a little oh, bit of it. He baby. kept resting on this, but he uh, he eventually did do it once. Did do it to me. Yeah, I'm there. I'm there. <laughs> and the sun came out. Yes, directly on our faces. Yeah, it was super cloudy and yeah. stormy. It's kind of gone away now. Yeah. All right, well, let's head home and go and eat. So you guys, we are taking the ride home now over by the beach on the A1A. Well, actually we learned it's called A1A, not the A1A. Yeah. <laughs> but we call Sorry. it the A1A. So the ocean is literally on this next side right here. You'll see it in a second. But if you look right here on the maps, like this is the A1A that we're on and it's literally right there. Yeah, and there's this hotel up here, you guys, that is so beautiful. It is, like when I think of Florida, I think of a hotel like this. It's yellow and it just has like the Florida look to it. It has like, sculptures of fish up in the architecture like it's so pretty i love driving this way usually there's a ton of traffic here but we love down there's not a lot of traffic right now yeah there's like no traffic right now show them this pink there's this huge pink one it looks like it's getting remodeled worked on yeah. yeah but that one's really fun too but the one i'm talking about is right behind it we'll show you guys Okay guys, so up here on the left, you'll see the yellow hotel I was talking about. Look how beautiful this is. <laughs> is that not so pretty? Honestly, that was so pretty. We stopped right in front of it, so that worked yeah. out perfect. But right. it looks like we're almost to the ocean right now where we'll be there right alongside of There is a storm it. coming in for sure. It is so black. It's black and windy, but look how pretty. The sun's coming from the right side. 
Oh. That looks so pretty. We just love it here, guys. Oh my gosh. Just even like a drive is just fun because it's so scenic. <laughs> so picturesque, yeah. So much of it is new to us. Oh my gosh, it looks like there's a kite surfer out there. Do you wow, see that kite yeah. Surfer? Honestly, They're these coming. palm trees literally never get old. Love our location because we're a few streets away from where all the tourists come mm -hmm. when they come to Fort Lauderdale. So if as long as we stay north of our street, you guys, we don't even notice it. Like, yeah, we don't even notice quiet. that like, the people are coming here for vacation. It honestly just seems like home. Yeah, it's just like way more residential. Like our beach part is quiet. It's away from the hotels. So it's so interesting that I know there's a lot of like spring breakers coming here but because we don't really leave our little neighborhood and go that way yeah we never notice it we don't like, really never. notice it so it's crazy it's been really nice so so many of our family members have been like is it crazy there right now with all the <laughs> spring breakers and I, apparently a ton of people were coming to fort lauderdale because of their curfew in miami and there's not a curfew here as far as i know but we haven't even noticed it which makes it really nice we just love our little area like we can't get enough of it it's so fun to eat little Finn. He just <laughs> nailed his head on this chair trying to jump up here. I'm puppy. <laughs> you guys, it's kind of cool. We're going to watch the storm come in. You can kind of tell out there how the storm is blowing in over this way, so I'm excited to watch that. I think maybe we'll eat outside tonight. I don't know. It's a little windy out there. What do you think, cutie? I think it'd be fun to go outside at least just because it's, it does storm. It is so pretty to watch. I know. It is pretty cool. You guys, we've actually been talking about a few different ideas with vlogs. I know you guys wanna see more of Florida. We wanna see more of Florida. Yes. So we're thinking probably in about the next month, my work schedule, my workload will be a little bit less, which will be really nice. And we're thinking of kind of touring around Florida more. So let us know your thoughts on that. Any places you think we should explore or see, but. Yes, definitely drop a blow in the comments. We would love to hear. Yeah, we'd love to hear that. And someone I work with actually just got back from a vacation. They came to Fort Myers and went to like the islands out there, like Marco Polo, I think it's called. Something like that. Island. Anyways, he said it was incredible. He said they rented a boat and they got to ride along with the dolphins out there for like hours. He said it was incredible. So, <laughs> so that's on the list. We definitely want to visit the Gulf side. Speaking of traveling, would you guys be interested in if we put together our videos or vlogs from our past travels and made it into like a movie kind of like Brandon does from This Is How We Bingham? Yeah, you guys, we were thinking it'd be so fun to piece together some of our travel videos. So like, Hawaii, because we've been there quite a few times, piece those together, piece together Australia. So we've visited so many different parts of Australia. And then we want to do that with Florida too. So like have a travel guide kind of in Florida. Because hopefully, you know, as travel starts to open back up, we think that would be really fun to have and useful too. Yeah. Anyways, that is just some ideas that have been running through our heads with vlogging. <laughs> Especially since I've been down and out with the count. So we think that'd be really fun, you guys, with our travel videos. And as you guys know, Jared loves to drone and yes. he's gotten some amazing drone footage. Oh my gosh, so many of you guys have commented that you'd like to see just like, just a vlog's worth of like drone footage, which I think might be kind of weird, but I know tons of channels do it. And so if you guys would be interested, definitely let me know in the comments. And maybe we could do that as like a bonus video of some sort, but just kind of show you guys some of the most beautiful, most epic drone footage of not just in Fort Lauderdale, but pretty much everywhere we've been. I, for one, every time I watch the vlog, I'm like, I just love the drone footage. Jared always puts it in, and I just feel like it's so beautiful. I could watch a whole vlog of it. So let us know on that, you guys. We also forgot to mention, we have not made it to the orthopedic for Jared because we were working so much today, we weren't able to get away. And then tomorrow, Jared has this big event, so, we're gonna try and see if we can squeeze it in tomorrow. If not, I might have to wait till Monday. In the meantime, I'm still gonna be doing my ankle exercises, doing my stretches. I am doing a little better, guys. 
He is doing a little bit better, which is good. He hasn't had that sharp pain today at all, which is, yeah, no, I think, a good sign. Yeah, that is a good sign. I had a little bit this morning, but again, that's just in the morning time. Yeah, and that's what the first doctor told you. Yeah, so yeah. we'll see how that goes, you guys. It is Easter weekend, though. We have some fun plans coming up, some really good recipes I'm excited to try out, so stay tuned for that. So for tonight, I actually have a little bit more of work that I need to get done tonight, but first, we are going to eat. All right, you guys, we are just getting ready for bed now and cute little Brit is not feeling very well. You guys, I have the worst migraine right now. I was thinking it was a headache, but I don't know if any of you guys get migraines out there, but I can tell it's definitely a migraine. It's like when your eyes get really sensitive to the light. I was telling Jordan, I was like, can we turn off the lights? And he's like, we gotta close out the vlog. But luckily, we can go to bed now. I finished up my work. I don't know if it has to do with looking at screens all day or what. I try and wear my blue light glasses. I've been getting headaches on and off the past few days, but tonight it's just like the kind that's right there. I don't know if any of you guys suffer from migraines, you probably know what I'm talking about, but it's just like hard to even have your eyes open. Just the pain, it hurts so bad, but. Well, it's crazy. Like you've been having these headaches for a while now. I know, I've had migraines for quite a few years so hopefully this one will go away maybe i'm just kind of overly tired but at least i got my little snuggle bug oh you guys hear him <laughs> you don't want me to move you you guys this is how finn sleeps with me every night literally every single night isn't that sweet my arm <laughs> is his pillow usually he's halfway under the covers with me so he's like a little human and sometimes he'll put his head right up here <laughs> on the pillow it's like the sweetest so I got my boys to take care of me, but I'm sure as soon as I go to sleep, hopefully I'm gonna take some medicine tonight and just hopefully I can get some sleep and I'll be feeling better and all will be well. And I was just realizing how white, <laughs> <laughs> how white this frame, this picture looks. I'm literally in a white sweatshirt and my white dog. I am bed. quite the contrast with my black shirt. <laughs> and, there's, and there's Jared with his black shirt. Hey, if you guys have any home remedies that have worked for you with migraines, like definitely let us know. Drop it below in the comments because Brit, like these headaches just are annoying. Oh, it's just hard to do anything. It yeah. just like takes you out. Mm -hmm. so, not fun, but that's okay, you guys. I'll be good. No worries at all. We love you all so much. I'm going to let Jared close out the <laughs> vlog tonight. <laughs> so I'm going to just shut my eyes. <laughs> well, you guys, on that note, mm -hmm. If you guys are new here, first off, welcome. Definitely hit that subscribe button. Give this video a thumbs up if you liked it. Until next time, you guys, we love you so much, and we'll see you later. Bye. We'll see you for Easter weekend. <laughs> we'll be better by then. That's right, we'll be better. Bye.